Many front of house and live broadcast mixers are familiar and comfortable with Dugan automatic mixing and how it sounds. We added Dugan to the 688 because it's a great option. Both Dugan and our mix assist algorithms have the same goal, turning off unused mics. The way they do it differs. There are subtleties that may steer a user to one method over another. Options are nice. Automatic mixing is going to be helpful wherever you have multiple microphones. Uh, and in field recording, you, you, know, you often have many microphones, especially in a dramatic production. Automatic mixing just makes that so much easier for the operator um, because then the person who's, who's running it basically just pays attention to balances. They don't have to pay attention to cueing mics in and out anymore. And the sound you get is like one mic being handed around. The automatic mixer does that part. And in terms of the background noise, it sounds like one microphone which is the natural clean sound that you'd like to have uh, no matter how many mics you're using. Because I'm a sound devices user myself, it certainly is my choice for field recording and um, I'm very pleased that uh, sound devices was interested in uh, putting in auto mixing. Dan is respectfully considered the father of automatic mixing. The Dugan Auto Mixer defines state of the art. It improves speech intelligibility and increased gain before feedback. The way the Dugan system worked resulted in a very natural mix, just right for on-air applications. Mix Assist now includes finer control of off attenuation levels. More attenuation means unused microphones contribute less to the overall mix. The factory defaults work well for most applications, but the granular control gives mixers the option of dialing in their mix. Well, Sound Devices is a really smart company. I think it's just a perfect match for putting in the automatic mixing because it just adds another feature to what is already a really fabulous line of products.